Hey folks, Nick Mock 007 here again, and today we're talking about pipes and tubing. This is my water change apparatus. I use this pump to pump water through the tubing and out into the tank. So what's the problem here? Well, the problem is, look at this tubing. Black. Look at that. This is supposed to be clear tubing. So what's the point of today's video? Well, the point is to figure out what to do about all this nasty black buildup that gets into your uh, pythons, your pumps, and anything else you use to move water. Since the dawn of time, mankind has continually used ingenuity to develop and perfect the tools needed to transport water in pipes bigger faster, stronger, and in so doing has striven and toiled to discover new and better ways to keep his pipes clean. Today, in order that we may fully understand this age-old struggle, I present to you a better mousetrap. That's right, a safe, effective, and cheap way to get your pipes sparkling clean. Join me as I share with you the secrets to clean pipes and clear tubing. Okay, all kidding aside, this is actually just an incredibly simple way to clean out tubing without uh, any kind of harsh chemicals or anything that could harm your fish or plants. Now, this is a very simple project, um, but something I like to do periodically, and I just wanted to share with you what I do. Now, I'm sure there are other ways to accomplish the same thing, um, but like I said, this is what I do. So, what you'll need for this project. Uh, of course, the tubing that needs to be cleaned. Uh, you'll need a bucket, preferably orange to put said tubing into. And the secret sauce, hydrogen peroxide. And you'll need water. A note here guys, the water must be in liquid form. And you'll also need a timer. I recommend this particular Hello Kitty model in this fantastic secure and masculinity pink color. Uh, now, what you'll do is you'll just simply add your hydrogen peroxide to the water. Now, there's no exact amount. More is okay, but I recommend, um, I used about a cup for this five-gallon bucket. Uh, honestly, less is fine as well, and, and like I say, more certainly won't hurt anything. Then you simply plug in your pump, let the water start moving, and voila. Now don't forget the most crucial step. Set your Hello Kitty timer for around 30 minutes. Now you can also do this with gravel vax. Uh, you just need a second bucket uh, and then simply siphon the hydrogen peroxide water mix from one bucket to the other a couple times and then let your gravel vac air dry and there you have it. Now back in the bat cave, we still have the water pump going. Now this is between about 5 to 10 minutes and you can already see the black gunk starting to break up and come out of the tubing. And you can see as I kind of manipulate this thing around, parts of the tubing are starting to look a little bit clearer, but still a little ways to go. So here it is after about 10 to 15 minutes. Um, I stopped it just to kind of show you. Um, yum stew. Finally, we have it. The finished project. Uh, for me, the tubing um, still looks a little bit dark right when I take it out of the water, um, but then I let it air dry, um, usually overnight, um, and the hydrogen peroxide bleaches out whatever residue is left inside the tubing. Um, so while not all of the kind of gunk comes out of there, um, as you can see, the tubing looks much, much cleaner, which helps promote the health of pretty much everything in your tank. Not bad. I'd give myself a thumbs up if I were watching this on YouTube right now, that's for sure. All right, until next time, everyone. 